So my name is David Marenka. I'm the writer, producer, and the director of movie Melada, which is based on a true story of Melada Horáková, who was born and raised and lived in the Czechoslovakia. Basically, came across her story when I was visiting um, uh, the Czech Republic because at the time I was living overseas. It was the anniversary of her death on TV, and they were announcing it. There was some kind of a program, a documentary or something about her life and uh, I just kind of thought it's really strange that no one has made a movie about her. So I have researched her story and I went to her daughter you know, who was living at the time in Washington DC and uh, I approached her and asked her for the right to the movie and she gave it to me and so we started working on, um, on Melada. Das ist sachlich falsch. Meine Aufgabe war, soziale Hilfe zu organisieren. What sort of concessions? Military cooperation. Sharing of the Carpathian Russia region. Sharing. The communists are growing stronger. People are feeling vulnerable. I was waiting for this movie for like almost five years when I heard it gonna be shot and it was always going back and forth and it was not going and we're gonna shoot it and I was still sending up there the wishes you know one day I really want to do Milada and it worked out and David called me and he said let's do it. This movie is so different because we care so much Every person on set, from a light guy to a driver, they even care what we, I mean, everybody cared. We wanted to have it perfect. Uh, we had some people, some extras, they are uh, over 70 and they really worked on it to be on Melada and you hear stories even from them. So that's strong, you know, you just uh, work in the crowd and then people coming up and they telling you about their family. And it's hard, it, and a lot of times we really start the first week of shooting with crying every day on set. And uh, it's strong, it's strong for all of us, and we are so thankful to David. He did this for us, you know, coming here from America and, and, and making this happen. It was really draining in the beginning. We've been so excited, we finally can shoot it the first day. You know, we came all to set and said, we are doing Melada, we're gonna do it, and we're doing it for her. Then you're waking up at three in the morning and you come to work and you say, can we doing it for Melada? And after knowing a couple of weeks, David, we're doing it for him, all of us. We love that guy. So he works so hard to make this show happen. Yeah, it's for him as well. <laughs> And our wounded heroes will never have to suffer the existential insecurities once they rejoin society. I was prepared for her. We had um, like a big row of the costumes with many variants and all the costume was prepared scene by scene. I prepared the book where uh, all the costume was written, so we found that she has 30 outfit actually. This is actually, some of the pictures was um, from David, because he get from uh, Melada's daughter a uh, private uh, family archive. Some of these I was researching on internet, in books, in archives and so on, so we collect a lot of pictures with, with Melada. If I find something very significant, we try to make the copy and place it in some uh, uh, part of the film. So for instance, we have this jacket here, we make the, the copy because I like it, this is Moliana, this is Milada, and it plays and I put it to the scene where she's coming back from London. We have some special color line that in beginning, it's uh, the warm and optimistic colors, and then after we go back to trial, so we, uh, we are going more to black and white, gray, blue, and cold colors. This dress I also made with all details, like very similar she has and all the details which was at that time uh, very significant. Mm -hmm. 